good now. Do what Dicey tells you. It was a hot summer afternoon. We were on our way to Bridgeport, where our great aunt Celia lived, to find a better life. Mama wanted to stop at the shopping center, where little did I know would be the last time I saw her. She'll be back soon. I'm tired. Sam, stop complaining. Just try to relax. Play some cards or something. I was asleep for about two hours. I hoped she would have returned, but there was no sign of her. She's still not back. Do you think she's actually gone? I have no way of telling the future. We looked for her in the store while getting dinner, but she wasn't there. Minutes turned into hours, and before we knew it, it was already morning. Mama still wasn't there. I just didn't know what else to do. I say we leave here and go for Bridgeport, but we're going to have to walk. What about Mama? She left us. We did all we could. She loves us. She would never leave us. No, she doesn't. We have to get to Bridgeport. She might be there. Okay. We set off with only about $10 in the mouth. The first few days were rough. We slept outside and some days we went without food. Our feet ached and we, the longer we traveled, the more we began to worry about what could have happened to mama. We found a campsite after a few days where we could stay after a while and rest. I decided to take a walk to clear my mind when I noticed two figures walking in my direction. Hey. Hi. What's your name, kid? Dicey. I'm Eddie, and this is Lou, short for Louie. Are you going to camp here? No. We are. It's like our own private forest. Nobody really comes here except for weekends, so... Well, I guess we should be going then. See you around? Okay. We had no choice but to stay at the park for the night since everyone was tired from walking. Suddenly I heard footsteps and someone sits down next to me. You lost? I felt grateful that someone actually cared or taken an interest in us. Can you walk home from here? Cat got your tongue? Nope. Alright, well I'll tell you what. I think you're uh, scared. I think you're also hungry. And I'm not sure if there are other people with you, but I'm willing to help. I was a runaway too, you know. I know how you feel. The family's back there. Y'all want to stay with me and my roommate Stuart tonight? What's your names anyway? My name's Wendy. As I said, my roommate's name is Stuart. Yours? I'm Dicey. Guys, come here. This is James, this is Sam, and this is Maybeth. Oh. I didn't realize there were so many of y'all. So, what do y'all want? It's on me. Anything you want. Thank you. Go on. Order. What do y'all want? I got all day. Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll have, you know, you know, we'll have eight hamburgers and four large orders of fries. And you guys have apple pie? Yep. Okay, then five pieces of pie. Is that it? At Windy Storm, there were clothes on the floor, here and there, but it was comfy. I was just glad to have a roof over my head for the first time in a week or so. Hi, nice to meet you. Sir. Hello. Nice. That's okay. All right, you two should probably get to bed. Sit down. So, where is it you need to go? I have to go to Bridgeport to meet my family. I can drive you there tomorrow. Bridgeport, you said? Thank you so much for everything. Finally, we were there. It wasn't exactly the White House by the ocean I imagined it would be.
I guess we wait. Why did Mama go? I don't know. She just got so worried about everything. About not having money. Not being able to take care of us. So she just left because she didn't know what to do anymore. She just forgot about everything. Maybe. Maybe she didn't know what to do. Maybe she didn't know where to go. So she just left. Aunt Celia finally arrived after a few minutes of waiting. That is the mother, not me. I'm the daughter. I just said, was the daughter. Come in. My mother passed away. Uh, it was her heart. She was in her 70s. I haven't been the same since. Um, that's what people tell me. Why are you here? Where are your parents? Our mother is your mother's niece. We used to get letters from her all the time. That's how we know about her and her address. I don't even know your name. Eunice Logan, Miss Eunice Logan. But since we're cousins, you can call me Cousin Eunice. Mom's not here, Sam. told Cousin Eunice the truth that we were alone. She let us stay with her, which we appreciated. But as time went on, I began to feel like this wasn't the place we traveled so far for. My siblings and I rarely saw each other since they were at church. I knew I should have been grateful to Cousin Eunice, but I wasn't. I couldn't take it anymore. She had told me of a grandmother I never knew I had, but how she went crazy and isolated herself. I knew only three details about where my grandmother lived. Crisfield, Eastern Shore, Maryland. It was worth a try. I earned some money by washing windows and soon it added up to $150. I would travel to Crisfield on my own to see what this grandmother was like. Thought so. Careful. James, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at church. I have to go before I miss my bus. You've been snooping through my things, haven't you? Look, and here comes Samantha and Maybeth. We're on out schedule. Hold on where are we going? To, me as we go. to see the place where Mama lived when she was a little girl. All of us? As we together? roll down yeah. this unfamiliar road. I didn't know when we would find the right place, or if we ever would, but I knew one thing. Home isn't about the roof you're under, it's about the people around you. So for now, when we were together, I was home. <laughs> Action. I can drive you there tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. They could down. Okay. Action. I'm <laughs> <laughs> gonna put some dirt on my knees. Oh god. <laughs> okay, action. What do y'all want? I got all day. Your mother died. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, you okay. died? No. no. Okay, everybody. Okay, action.
What about mama? Wait, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Are we just wondering what he says or are we Okay, uh, action. <laughs> you lost? <laughs> Can you walk home from here? <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful.